everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the second YouTube Artist Collective theme that I've ever participated in. And for anybody that doesn't know, the YouTube Artist Collective is a group of YouTube artists that come together every other month to create an artwork based on a theme that you guys can pick. So what we normally do is you can comment on themes that you want and we pick three of them and then you can vote for the final theme. And what I really love about this collaboration is there's so many different artists with so many different styles and it's really nice to see how the artists interpret the same theme and I think it's a really nice way to bring the artist community together. So I will be leaving links to all of the different YouTube artists in this YouTube Artist Collective in the description below and also we have a Facebook page so you can find them there as well and I strongly recommend that you go and check out their artworks after you watch this video because they're all amazing and they're really enlightening and they've got some really nice talks about each of the animals. Also this piece will be for sale and I will be giving part of the profits to a charity and I'd really like to do it on a Fox charity because that's what my piece is on so I'm not too sure what charity I want to do yet so if any of you have got any sort of suggestions or know of any fox charities or, or charities that help out with foxes feel free to comment down below and I'll definitely look into it and give it some consideration but yeah for today's theme I am doing a fox and I decided to do it in an autumn woodland sort of area with a girl and she's trying to protect them so I thought this was really fitting as the theme is trying to get everybody to think about the animals and think about saving them and protecting them and stopping them from becoming endangered and extinct so I thought having this girl trying to protect this mother fox and her baby was really fitting and it also a really nice warm feeling around this piece as well because I was going to do something a bit more gory but I thought not everybody might like that so I decided for this piece to go for something a bit more warmer and cosier. So I decided to title this piece as our protector because she's trying to protect them again and like I said I will be selling this original as well as prints of this and today is actually going to be the opening launch of my online store because we have to put this piece up for sale. So there will be other artworks on my store that you can get as well and prints but I'll be doing a whole different video on that in the next few days to talk about what prints you can get and stuff like that. But Basically, I'll leave the links in the description of where you can look to find this original piece and the prints if you want and a link to my online store. So foxes are starting to become in danger of becoming extinct or becoming endangered because of the fact that they're being hunted so much for their fur for people to wear. And I really don't like the thought of an animal just becoming extinct just for fashion reasons and just because people want to look good. I don't think this quite justifies killing them. So it's not just foxes, a lot of animals are just killed for their fur or for example elephants are killed for their tusks. So people just like to kill animals just to get something that they can sell. And I think that's really immoral and really wrong and it's just an unnecessary cruel act on the animals. Which is why I'd really like to help out with this to stop animals being unnecessarily killed for something that is not really improving the quality of our life. It's just materialistic things that we can live without. Okay, so the materials that I use for today's painting are the Winsor & Newton Professional Watercolours and the Caran d'Ache Luminance Colour Pencils and I completed this on the Archer's Watercolour Hot Press Paper which is the £300 one which is the thicker one and I really like this because it is so so thick. And I first started off by creating the woods and the ground area with the watercolours and this was the first time that I'd really created the landscape with the watercolours and really did like a whole woodland scene even though it's not really that detailed of a woodland I've never really painted a woods before so I really enjoyed doing that for the first time and it was really really enjoyable. And I thought it was really nice to create an autumn feel with the warmer colours just to make it look really cosy and because she hasn't got any clothes on I thought it would look more appropriate if it was really warm rather than if it was cold it wouldn't really gel as well. So when I did the watercolour background for the woods I really liked using the wet into wet method and this is basically where you wet the paper first and then you add the watercolours and when you're trying to blend the colours together or add layers of the watercolours if you want it to be like a transitional blending rather than 
where you can see the harsh edges of the watercolours then it's really good to keep your paper wet and to keep your layers wet until you want that final layer to dry and then create another layer on top but I think that was a really good way to work and I really enjoy putting water onto the paper first so that it seeps into the water rather than just sticking to the paper and drying with those harsh edges. It just gives a really nice flow to the water. So once I did the wood background I moved on to the ground and I created that with watercolours and a bit of gouache as well to create a more of a faded kind of look. Because it was dirty and it was a greyish brown I added in some white just to make it a bit more of a muted tone. And I think this is something that I really want to incorporate more into my original artworks in the future. I really want to do them with whole scenes and backgrounds and landscape settings. Because I like to draw women and girls, I want to do it as whole compositions rather than just drawing a girl's face. I'd like to incorporate them into different backgrounds and sceneries as well. So I really enjoy doing the practice of the woods today. So I like to create an underpainting first with all the watercolours, so wherever I'm going to be applying watercolour I like to do that first and just create an underpainting which I can build on top of with other watercolours or with coloured pencils and I really like using coloured pencils over the top of the watercolours as well. Especially when I did the fox I found that doing the underpainting in watercolours, so getting the basic colours onto the fur, I could then use the Faber-Castell polychromos to get the really fine fur details over the top but it was really good because they go straight over the watercolours I can create that fur texture without having to create a base layer because that's already been created for me when I did the underpainting in the watercolours so I really liked using that technique and it's something that I haven't done for a while because I haven't drawn animals for a while and it was really nice to draw an animal again because I used to draw so many of them so once I created an underpainting of the whole of the scenery and also the foxes and a bit of the girl's hair, I started moving on to drawing the girl and I used mainly Caran d'Ache Luminance coloured pencils for this and I really love these pencils because they're so creamy and they're amazing to create skin with. I thought it was really important to use the warmer skin tones because if she's in a warm setting then the sunlight and the glow, the warm glow will be cast onto her and will give her a warm skin kind of look. So it's really important that when you're drawing you take into account your environment and the effects that the lighting would have on the person. I definitely found this drawing really challenging because I hadn't drawn animals for a long time and also I found the pose of the girl quite difficult especially because the foxes were covering where her other arm was so it looks a bit odd and I had to make it look like a natural pose so you can kind of tell what pose she's doing without seeing the whole positioning and I found it a nice challenge especially because I had to incorporate a whole scenery with it as well as drawing the girl and also drawing animals and trying to make it look fluent rather than them just plonked all onto the same piece of paper so it's kind of hard to make something look like a final composition and all pull it together but I, I was really happy with how it turned out so I also decided to do her hair really long so it looked like it was wrapping around them like it was protecting them so she's kind of enclosed herself all around these animals and I thought that really helped to make it look like she was part of them and she was protecting them Anyway guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in buying the original or a print of this, then I will leave the links in the description to where you can buy them. Also, if you're new to my channel, I do post free videos every week. So if you think that will be helpful and you'll be interested in watching those videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of them. I will leave all the links to my social media sites in the description below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!